Hey guys, in this video I want to show you how I've built my NEMA 1450 enclosure box. I bought a commercial grade waterproof um, outlet with a box on Amazon, but that box is actually covering this Tesla unit just up to here. So all this part is staying outside. And uh, I live in Toronto and our cottage is located a bit north where we get a lot of snow, rain. So I was afraid that uh, water might get into this gap where the connection is happening. So I just wanted to protect this unit and the cable fro from all the water elements. And I decided to build an actual wooden box around it. And here it is. I have a really small lock here. The lock size doesn't really matter because if people want to break in, they will break in regardless. So here is what we have inside. For the framing, I used uh, two by fours, leftovers from another project. Then I covered everything with uh, very thin plywood. You can see it here and covered that with this bare paint. The color code was 5077 and the name was chocolate. Then on the outside, uh, to match the aesthetics of our existing deck, I used uh, 5 by one boards, so you can see it kind of looks organic here. For the cable to run out, I uh, uh, made a little gap, so once the cable is here, I can close the door flash and the cable is going towards my car. So inside here, uh, there's the box I was talking about that I bought on Amazon. The box came with an actual NEMA 1450 outlet and uh, we can plug our Tesla unit here. You can see it's uh, green, all the lights are working, so the connection is here. There you go. For the electrical connection, I decided to go with a 40 amp breaker on my panel. According to the code, the constant load allowed for the breaker has to be 80% of the breaker size and level 2 home charging for Tesla cannot take more than 32 amps. And 32 amps is exactly 80% of a 40 amp breaker. So I used um, 8 gauge wires cut to length from Home Depot, two hots, red and black, white for the neutral and green for the ground. I uh, put them through this uh, 3 quarter inch a flexible conduit which is really easy to put through your house through your basement or whatever you're gonna fit it through it's flexible watertight super safe and uh, three quarter inch can take up to six of those wires so four feet uh, really easy and no problem for the box connection i use this uh, push in water seal uh, sim push uh, connector very easy to connect it to your box and to secure the conduit to the house, I use this metal strapping, way cheaper than buying specifically designed brackets, and does the same job. I'll put everything in the description down below. So let's test it out and see the magic. Looks like we got the juice. So let's see how fast this Tesla Model Y made on March 8, 2021 is going to charge at those settings. We are currently set at the maximum for level 2 home charging, which is 32 amps. Uh, as I mentioned before, 80% of the constant load on the 40 amp breaker, safe. And uh, as you can see, it's charging at uh, 7 to 8 kilowatts an hour. It's jumping to 8 and with my previous experience, it uh, usually stays at 8 kilowatts an hour. So roughly going to get 10% of the car charge in an hour, which is more than enough for a home charge. And um, you can lower it down to like 25 amps, if you will. And this uh, way you're going to get 6 kilowatts an hour, which is still enough for an overnight charge. So you can play with the settings and see what's best for you. That's it for today's video. If you want to support it, please like, subscribe to the channel and use my referral link down below when you're going to purchase your next Tesla. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.